Welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's Virtual Classroom. Today we are going to learn a easy method to find the LCM and GCF of a number. We use the Vedic Sutra vertically and crosswise. Now let's see the meanings of LCM and GCF. The meaning of LCM is when a number is multiplied by another number which is a natural number, the product is a multiple of that number. Any multiples that are the same for two or more numbers are called common multiples. The lowest of those common multiples is called the least common multiple. Now let's see the meaning for GCF. Factors or integers you multiply together to get another integer. The largest factor that both numbers share is called the greatest common factor. So the LCM is the least common multiple, GCF or otherwise called as HCF. GCF means greatest common factor, HCF means highest common factor. So now let's find the GCF and LCM of 12 and 18. First, what common factor it multiplies 12 and 18? So 2. So 2 times what is 12? 6. 2 times what is 18? 2 times 9 is 18. Next, we find the common factor for 6 and 9, which is 3. So 3 times what is 6? 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times what is 9? 3 times 3 is 9. So there are no more factors. So there are fa no factors for 2 and 3 because there are prime numbers. A prime number is a number that can be multiplied by itself by 1 only and divided by itself by 2 by itself. So let's stop here. For the GCF, vertically multiply 2 and 3. So 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So the GCF is 6. For the LCM, we cross multiply 12 times 3 or 2 times 18. They both give the same answer which is 36. So 12 times 3 is 36. So the LCM is 36. Now let's see the uses of LCM and GCF is to simplify fractions. For example, 1 by 12 plus 1 by 18 equals 5 by 36. We find the LCM of 12 and 18 to find the answer. Now, another example is to find the equivalent fraction of 12 by 18. And sometimes the numerator and denominator will have common factors. You can simplify them by dividing the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. So, we find the GCF of 12 and 18 which is 6. So, that's how we find the equivalent fraction of 12 by 18 which is 2 by 3. Now let's see the regular method. So, first we find the factors of 12, which is 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 times 3 is 12. For the factors for 18, 2 times 3 times 2. So 2 times 3 is 6 and 6 times 3 is 18. For the GCF, we first Circle the numbers that are same. So 2 and 3 are same. So 2 times 3 is 6. So the GCF is 6. For the LCM, since the there are the common factors are 2 and 3, we, we write them only once. So 2 and 3. And next write the other digits as it is. So 3 and 2. So for the LCM, 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6 and 6 times 2 is 12 and 12 times 3 is 36. So the LCM is 36. As you can see, the Vedic math method is much more easier than the regular method. Let's try another example. Find the LCM and HCF of 12 and 15. First, Find a common factor for 12 and 15, which is 3. 
Three times what equals twelve? Three times four equals twelve. Next, three times what equals fifteen? Three times five equals fifteen. There are no common factors for four and five because five is a prime number. A prime number means that uh, that it has only two factors: the number itself and one. So, the factor of four is two. So there are no fac common factors for four and five. So we stop here. So for the HCF of twelve and fifteen, we vertically multiply the numbers. Since three is the only number, the HCF. Is also three. For the LCM, we cross multiply twelve times five or four times fifteen. They both give the same answer, which is sixty. Let's see the verification step. LCM times HCF equals product of two numbers twelve and fifteen. The HCF is three and the LCM is sixty, and sixty times three is one eighty. HCF, which is three and times LCM, which is sixty, should equal one eighty, because twelve times fifteen equals one eighty. Twelve times fifteen is one eighty, so our answer is right. Now let's see the regular method. For find the com the factors for twelve. So two times two times three. Two times two is four, and four times three is twelve. Now find the factors for fifteen. Three times five. Three times five is fifteen. Next find same numbers. So Three is a same number three and three, so the GCF is also three. For the LCM, we since there are two threes, we we take it as one three, so we write one three, and we write the other numbers down. So two, two, and five. So two times two is four, and four times three is twelve, and twelve times five is sixty. So the LCM is sixty. As you can see, the Vedic math method is is much more easier and takes less time than the regular method. Thanks for watching.